Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry. Welcome back to this little vlog series that we are doing. I actually wasn't sure if I was even gonna pick up the camera today, but I decided I've got some things to do, so why not just bring you guys along with me? Um, it is... She's barking. That's a good girl. Let's go see. This mama is so happy <laughs> that she barked. Uh, someone was actually at the door trying to sell me something. So not interested. But um, that that was the first time that she barked completely entirely on her own without us having to like prompt her to do it. So that was really, really good. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. So it's the little things in life, right? Uh, Deuce was always the alpha dog in this pack and so she always like kind of followed his lead so to speak so she's kind of figuring things out on her own but the fact that she did that all on her own just made me so happy <laughs> made me so happy but anyways so i've got some things to do i'm actually going to record my video for what i've been warming over the last week so i'm going to share that with you guys um ugh, i keep looking down at my <laughs> keep looking down at my wrist I am still missing my app, my Apple watch. I know if you, if you follow me on social media, you will have seen the accident that happened to my Apple watch. It's really sad. Do you guys want to say, go ahead, cry along with me, <laughs> cry along with me. Oh, I still have it. Cause I don't know if I'm going to replace the glass on it or if I'm just going to get a new Apple watch. Um, I think it's like two or 300 bucks to replace the glass. It still works perfectly fine. It's just completely shattered. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Oh, it's so sad. Um, this was during the time when we were essentially like living downstairs um, and we were sleeping in the living room. For those of you, if you're newer to my channel, um, we recently lost our male German Shepherd and we live in a two-story house and he couldn't climb the stairs. So we were living essentially in the living room. So I was charging this downstairs and in the kitchen, as you can see, we have tile. Yes, you can do the math. <laughs> I went to put it on my wrist and it slipped and it fell face down on the tile and I just remember saying to my husband, oh God, please no, 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 no. And I picked it up and it was, it was like this. So give me your thoughts. What should I do? I would love to know what you would do. Two to 300 bucks for a new piece of glass or do I get the newest Apple watch? Mm, the struggle is real. So basically the moral of that story is that <laughs> I don't know, how did I even get to talking about that? It is 1227. So I've got some things to do. I'm going to record my what I've been warming this week, actually for the last two weeks, because I didn't put one up last week. So I'm going to do that video, get that uploaded, and then I'm going to package up an order and take the order over to um, a neighboring neighborhood. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. I figure why not? <laughs> so I'm going to knock out this video and then I'll be back with you as I am packaging up the order. I'll talk. Look who's here. Does he have Scentsy boxes? I think that's a Scentsy box. <laughs> yes. Give me the goods. Zozo, do you love your Christmas tree? <laughs> Sometimes she'll just like lay here and like stare at the lights. It's so sweet. Oh, I love her. Say hi to our friends. Hi, friends. All right, you guys, we are plugging right along here. Uh, it is now 1.49. I want to leave here in about 10 to 15 minutes uh, to be able to go deliver this order. So we're going to package up the order together. So let's go ahead and do this. It's not a huge order. Um, I have, this is how big the, of a bag I need. It's, pr it's pretty small, um, but that's totally fine. She just needed a three pack of 15 watt bulbs. She is also purchasing the Freshen Up Pup Dog Deodorizing Spray. Uh, this scent is actually orange zest and nectar, which I have not actually smelled before. So I'm definitely going to be sure to follow up with her and see how she likes it. Because like, like I said, I haven't smelled it before. I have used our dog deodorizing spray, but I have it in honey and chamomile. I really, really like this. Is it crazy strong? No, but it's not really meant to be a perfume per se. It's just kind of like 
a freshening up spray. <laughs> so Zoe doesn't really use this that much. I was actually using this on Deuce uh, there for a period of time. He, uh, he started smelling really bad and where he couldn't stand on his own, baths were not really a thing. So what I was doing at that point was taking a wet towel and just kind of like wiping him down, I guess, and then using our dog deodorizing spray to kind of help with the smell. But, um, but yeah, so, but Zoe, she's not a, she's not a super stinky dog and our dogs are inside. They don't go outside except to potty. So they don't really get that like wet dog smell, but I'll be super interested to see her thoughts on this particular scent. So we'll see. So she got this, her three pack of bulbs and then a Be Merry bar. So we're going to package this up together. Since this is actually a brand new customer of mine, she found me through the consultant locator, found that I was close and she was like, <laughs> I guess she's been waiting like a year to find a consultant to place an order for bulbs. <laughs> it's just like, girlfriend, I'm just like a skip hop and a jump away. Like anytime you need anything, just let me know. So I guess she's been looking for like a year. <laughs> And to the rescue, don't worry. So I am including a little sample for her. I did a sample in winterberry apple tea. How cute is that little snowflake? So winterberry apple tea for her to try. And then also I'm including a catalog and a monthly specials flyer so that she can check out how cute our warmer of the month is. And then I always do a handwritten thank you note. So that's gonna go in there. And then I have this little elastic that I'm gonna put around the Be Merry bar. And this, it just, um, this, there's a group on Facebook that actually makes these. So you can get some pre-made, uh, elastics to put around either your bars or, you know, whatever you want, whatever this can fit around, um, and use these, or you can have them like custom. So you can put like your, your website and other stuff on there. I just got one that says got wax. I don't know if you can see that super cute. So I just put this right around just to give it just a little extra touch, if you will. Since this is a fairly small order, I'm not going to like put a bow or anything around the bag itself because I don't need a super huge bag. So, but this is how I'm putting it just, and you can like put a business card and all that in here just to, um, so that they have your contact information, but I gave her my card in the thank you card. So all I'm doing is just going to package this up. She lives not even five minutes away from me. It'll be five minutes tops. So I'm just gonna kind of get this ready. I might actually need a bigger bag. Here I was saying that I wasn't gonna need anything bigger. What am I hung up on? There we go. That should be just perfect. And then also on the on the back of the card, I use our little rub and sniff stickers from the scent of the month kit. That way she can see what the scent of the month smells like. Her bulbs. Actually, let me put the bar in first. Bulbs and sample. It's kind of packed a little bit, but I feel like everything else is gonna kind of if I use like a bigger bag, it's probably just gonna get lost in there. So I'm just gonna deliver it to her just like this. So I've got her spray in this room. So I've got her spray, her bar, her bulbs, catalog, and other goodies. So, so yeah, so we are going to get ready to go do that. So, oh gosh, and then now I need to <laughs> move the cars around. We've got a three bay, um, We've got a three car garage, but it's a tandem third bay. So, and my car is in the third bay. So now I need to play magical cars <laughs> and move the cars around. And then we are gonna go deliver this and then we'll head back. So uh, yeah, let's go move the cars around. Okay, so before we take off, I did want to show you her Kong. Um, so this is said Kong. And what you do is you just take one of the Kong cookies or some milk bones or whatever, and you just stick it inside here. And then it drives them crazy <laughs> to try to get it out. And then um, you can line it with this like cheesy paste. So this, we get the ones actually from Kong. This is not um, 
a part of her diet, but hey, you only live once, right? So these are peanut butter cookies that you stick inside and then we line it with some delicious bacon and cheese, cheese whiz. <laughs> if that doesn't sound good, I don't know what does. So let's see, are you ready? Ready for your Kong? In your kennel, in your kennel. She's such a good girl. So we don't actually close her in here anymore. Um, but she just, she really loves her kennel. In fact, a lot of times she'll just like lay in here. So we just leave the door open and then I'll give her her Kong in there so it doesn't make a mess out here. <laughs> here you go, my love. There you go. So now it's time to go run some errands. of a shit show right <laughs> just a little bit so we are off to the races we are going to drop off this order and then I'm also gonna go to FedEx and get something shipped off to a customer as well so we are gonna go do that and then we'll be back home. all right friends so we are back home it is 3 40 and everything went really well. I met with the new customer and she was so, so super sweet. Um, she was really thankful for the catalog and for the sample. <clears throat> and I am really looking forward to getting to know her more. So it'll be, it'll be really good. I told her I'd reach out to see how she's liking her deodorizing spray and everything. So we'll see how she likes that. Um, but she was really super sweet. I don't know why she couldn't find a consultant for the last year, but she's got me now. <laughs> So I just let her know, hey, you know, I'm just, you know, the next neighborhood over. So like, if you need anything, like I'm happy to like get your orders placed and get them over to you um, pretty quick. So she was super thankful for that. And then I hopped over to FedEx, my most frequented business, <laughs> but I got that uh, warmer shipped out. So that was good. Um, let me tell you though, shipping, oh my lands, everybody cries about the Scentsy shipping being like eight bucks, unless obviously you're over $80, then the shipping goes up. Let me tell you, <laughs> a warmer cost me $20 to ship. It's crazy. So pay the $8. <laughs> it's fine. Pay the $10. It's fine. Going through FedEx or anything like that, it's going to be more expensive. I promise you. Shipping kills. Also kind of a funny story. I, um, I actually prefer FedEx as opposed to UPS when it comes to shipping things. They're just nicer there. It's It winds up being, and they're actually less expensive because when I used UPS before, it was like $10 more. I was like, dang. So it does save me money there and the employees are just like a lot nicer. But 
as a recipient, <laughs> as someone who is receiving a package, I actually prefer UPS. It's little things in life. It's something about the tracking. Uh, UPS is always like, I always know around the time it's going to come. If it, if it says it's going to come on a specific day, I know a, around the time it's going to come just based on the routes, I guess. Uh, FedEx, it rarely actually comes on the promised day. <laughs> I'm like, so maybe I shouldn't be using them for shipping, but I don't know. It's just, it's weird how those things work. Like when Sensi sometimes uses FedEx for, um, for shipping orders, I'm like, oh, don't use FedEx. I don't like FedEx, but it's fine. The employees are super nice. So I got that shipped off and then my husband decided he wanted tacos for dinner tonight. So as you can see, I went to the store, grabbed some stuff for tacos. So we're gonna have tacos tonight. He, there's a football game on. He's a Cowboys fan, so he's gonna watch the Cowboys tonight while I make tacos. So that'll be really good. And I'll just continue to put up my Christmas stuff. So that's pretty much what I've got for you. Was that it? I feel like there was something else I was gonna tell you guys about. Nope, I think that's about it. So I think that's gonna be it for today. So much for not picking up the camera. I thought, well, since I'm gonna be doing some things, I figured I'd hop on and say hello to my friends. So uh, I hope you guys are liking these little vlogs that I'm doing. If you do, make sure you like these videos so that I know that you do like them and I will continue to do them from time to time. Like I said, it's not gonna be a super regular thing every single day, just periodically I'll pick up the camera, especially probably on the weekends, like when we take Zoe to the dog park and stuff, as you guys saw from her first little series video, that was fun. So just when I see that there's stuff happening, I'll pick up the camera. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.